In the last two months, I have made some videos about different operating systems that could replace or go along with Windows. Either Linux distributions, Android, or Windows. All of them have in common one thing. For installation, they all need a tool to flash them on USB drives, making them bootable. Usually this tool is something like Rufus or Bolina Etcher. Both good, trusty utilities that gets the job done. However, the downside is that you can use only one operating system per unit. If you want a new OS, then you need to format the USB and flash the new OS using one of these tools. There is no simple copy-pasting solution. It's not really a huge problem having to make all these things, but if you are like me and you want everything to go fast, then you'll appreciate that there is actually a tool that lets you have more operating system and a single USB drive. A tool that allows you to simply copy and paste whatever OS you want. A tool that if you want to remove an OS, you don't have to format the whole USB over and over. That tool is called Ventoy, the new bootable solution. But first, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. Go to ventoy.net or type Ventoy in the search engine. Before downloading, you can check out the tested ISO section to see which operating systems work so far with Ventoy. Here, you see that there are over 700 ISOs tested and the list keeps updating. I already know that some of the ISOs that I have are not on the list. Like Windows 11, Fight OS or Pair OS, and I'm curious to see if they work. Go to Downloads and select the corresponding Ventoy for your operating system. In my case, I need for Windows. Click on the archive and extract the folder anywhere you want. After that, insert your USB drive into the PC and open Ventoy. By default, the partition style is set on MBR, compatible with legacy BIOS. In the option menu you can switch it to GPT if you wish. You can also select Secure Boot Support, so it can run on legacy BIOS, as well as on UEFI. After choosing your options, click on Install. Here you are warned that the USB will be formatted and all the data will be lost, so make sure you made a backup if you have important files on your drive. Congratulations! Ventoy has been successfully installed on the device. Now all you have to do is copy your ISOs on the USB. The only thing that you need to check is that the total size of your images is not larger than the space left on the USB. That's it, once the images are copied, your USB is ready to use. All you have to do is restart your PC and enter in the boot menu. You can access the boot menu by pressing one of several keyboard keys. Common keys for accessing the boot menu are Escape, F2, F10, or F12, depending on the manufacturer. Select the USB drive, and Ventoy bootloader will start automatically. As you can see, here are all the operating systems that I've copied on the USB. Let's test some.
So, Ventoy works without any problems. And the fact that is as simple as copy-paste, it makes it a really useful tool to have. And, as you can see, it works also with untested operating systems. Like this Windows 11, which I save for the next video, so stay tuned.